Hey, welcome to another installment of the Skyhunter FPV. I'm putting the parts together here, showing you you're going to need the uh, wing spar. There it is right there, carbon fiber wing spar. I got an acid brush. I get these from uh, Harbor Freight for a pack of 30 for about three bucks, 10 cents a piece basically. Um, here's your winglets that you're going to need. And there's your brackets that you're going to need for your tail booms and some uh, tape. All right, real quick, here's a important thing. I found out that the glue in this kit is contact cement. Um, it's not regular glue, and I later switched to do this with 30-minute epoxy for gluing in the wing spars, not contact cement. I threw the glue away. Um, it is really total junk. It dries way too quick. So let's go back to it. I put tape down here so when you put the um, epoxy in, it uh, does not go anywhere else but in the hole that you need it. And when you're done, you rip this tape off. You've got a nice clean surface. So here's the spar coming up. Uh, make sure you have the right size spar. It should uh, extend on either side of that crack about a half an inch. Or I think what it's that five or six millimeters. I don't read Chinese. If I had read Chinese, I would have known that said contact cement. But they don't write anything in any other languages. So apologies. But I would not use that. It dries way too quickly. If you use contact cement to put this together and you try to stick that spar in there, um, you're not going to get to the bottom of the crack. I tried and I didn't. One side did not seat fully. Uh, it was sitting up in the air. You'll see it later on. Use epoxy if you can for the step not the kit glue if you have those funds do that try not to use this because um, you were supposed to put it in wait for it to dry and then stick it in uh, you will probably will not make it to the bottom of the um, crack before that spar sticks and split in place it's important to note as well when you get ready to put this uh, spar in is that you want to make sure it is centered between both sides on that crack it should stick out again about a half inch on either side of that um, crack um, you might want to trim back the tape uh, before you do it I had kind of pre-done that before you saw this um, kind of did that off camera kind of looked where I needed it all right now we're gonna sand the spar uh, if you don't sand carbon fiber it does not stick very well so I'm roughing it up with some uh, probably 100 grit sandpaper, 80 or 100, uh, my block here. And when I'm done, wipe that off with the cloth, your fingers, something. Uh, cloth would be more preferable. There wouldn't be any oil on it. would be like your fingers, but I'm in Colorado. I have really dry fingers. So makes it a little easier. Scuff it up real good. Don't stop until you know it's rough. And you got carbon fiber all over your hands. You know you've done well. Here we go. Do not trim the fiber rod to size. It's supposed to be longer than the slot. Like I said, more than a half an hour, uh, half inch. It's made to hold the wing boom ends um, for stabilizing them. So don't trim it down. It's supposed to be that way. Um, you could also, by the way, use hot glue if you don't have anything else. Hot glue would work for this. Uh, just shove it in, make sure it's seated, and then wipe off with or uh, with another piece of foam or something. That would be another way you could put that carbon fiber rod in. There you go. That's it. All right, here we go. Notice the wing brackets are about to put on next. You see on here, this is the manufacturer's uh, thing. If you notice, one's going left, one's going up. Try to get these in both an up and both down on the rear winglets. Match them before you do this. If you don't, you're going to end up looking like mine or the manufacturers. There's nothing warning about this. Look at the way they are. Try to match them and put them in the right direction. Okay, back to it. Here we go. Um, I made that mistake. So what you need to do first, see how I have made that notch. I'm dry test fitting it. That notch should go right over the um, carbon fiber piece that we left in place. Uh, you're going to want to sand them. You're going to want to put contact cement on them and uh, go from there. 
make sure they're dry fitted again. And if you notice here, make sure the winglet thing is going up. It's facing forward. See how it's facing forward, um, the groove? You want to test fit your winglet. There you go. Notice the front ed leading edge of the um, edge. Both front edges are look exactly the same. The top is facing forward and the front is facing forward. And if you notice, the white is on the inside, not the outside. If you can, put the winglets the other way. But it'll look a little funny when you glue the covers on later. So there it is. They're facing up. You're noticing I kind of clipped forward there. I'm test fitting them again. Make sure they fit nice and flush. These, by the way, I did not cut the grooves deep enough. I had to go back off film and cut them deeper again. So anyways, um, when you put these in, try to hinge them down if you see that motion that I just did. Don't slide them in from the sides. If you slide them in from the sides, they're not going to work. Um, you'll get caught on the contact cement. Try to force them down from the top on the um, onto that spar that we have sticking out. All right, again, a medium coat of contact cement, not heavy, not too light. Same thing on the other side. Here's your glue. I'm going to put your glue on. Um, again, it's not puddling in there. It's just a nice, even coat. Same thing on the other side. A nice, even coat. There you go. All right, you're gonna see me speed up right there. You see me trying to push that down. That's where my carbon fiber rod never sat correctly, never made it to the bottom. Um, and that's when I think that contact cement was a joke. Anyways, you see me speed up the drying here. I need to make sure it is tacky before I assemble it. Uh, always remember that contact cement has to be tacky before assembly. If you do it wet, it won't work. It will not stick. So I'm just waving it back and forth to dry off the chemicals. All right. Still not tacking if I don't think I'm going to do it again here in a second. My uh, tail boom brackets were already dry. That's when I was trying to speed this up, by the way. I had to go recut um the slots in them so they were already dry that's what i was trying to speed that up all right remember you only get one try to do this make sure they're lined up before you touch these parts together either go from the top down or hinge them but don't try to slide them in from the side you will not get them together there you go there was something stuck on there and i noticed it and i'm like all right before i try to put that down i better clean it because i only get one shot not from the side. If you do it from the side, make sure they're not touching down yet. See how I push, slid it in from the top and then push down? It's the only way you're going to do it. All right. On these, these are the covers. You'll see me in a second. I'm going to have to cut these off the, um, the parts right there. See it right there? There's a couple of those. You have two that have slots and you have two that do not have slots. The two that have slots go on the bottom. The two that don't have slots are going to go on your inside of your wing. All right. Notice how I have the winglet um, and it's the white is on the inside, not the outside. And the rough edge of that winglet is on the inside. It should be facing the inside. You should not see those bumps that were on the inside of that winglet on the outside. Those face inward. See that right there? That's wrong. I'm kind of showing that. Wrong. I was checking it out to look at it to see which one was right. And I'm like, nope. There you go. Bumps towards the inside. Bumps towards the outside would look ugly. And that would also leave the uh, covers that go on the outside looking towards going towards the outside. So there I'm going to put my the glue on. Nice even coat of glue. All right. Same thing on the other one. Remember, wait for it to become tacky. I'm um, after this last step. By the way, you see how I messed up? Um, that one's notched as well. You only notch the one side. You don't need to notch both. Here we go. 
And if you notice, my brackets are crooked like I was talking about earlier. I've got uh, two that are going opposite directions on each wing. Uh, it, if I would have test fit everything first and looked at the manufacturer's mistakes, I would have noticed them. But they didn't point it out either. They don't have a build video. Remember, let it become tacky again before you get it together. You only get one shot at this. Um, I would suggest lining it up on a table before putting this on. The way I did it wasn't the best. Um, one of my winglets just a hair off, and it really bugs me. So notice that I almost put it on wrong there. The front leading edge has to be looking exactly the same as the other one. And before you put it on, there you go. Kind of hinged it on, pushed it together. It's already dry, so it's a one-shot deal. There you go. I know I've said it's a one-shot deal or it's you have to do it right each time, but if you mess it up, don't complain at me. I apologize, but I'm showing you here. So there you go, one shot. All right. Next, we're going to put the little covers on that cover up the uh, your white surfaces to make it look better, more aesthetics. All right, I'm cutting these uh, the covers off of the excess piece of foam. By the way, that excess piece of foam is a great thing to test out different glues on. I use that test different glues. I found out the uh, CA glue does not work slow or fast. Um, different glues. Some contact cement was one of the few, and I also used 30-minute epoxy, which seemed to stick to it. Uh, most of the other glues that I tried did not, with the exception of Gorilla Glue, the brown stuff did. I don't know if they put silicone in it or what, but not much sticks to this gray um, EPO. All right, um, on this you have two that have the uh, grooves for going over those carbon fiber spars that we left extending uh, for the wing broom brackets. Uh, and there's two that don't. The ones that don't have uh, grooves in them are gonna go towards the upper winglets. And the ones with them, just sever them in half. It's easier to put on. Uh, you'll see that later. I'm just going to crack it in half and stick it on. Um, just much easier to uh, do it that way. All right. There it is. I'm going to put that right in there. Just cut that in half. It's much easier to put it, in, put it inside there. Um, that's what I found out after. You'll see it here in a moment. It's much easier than trying to judge your way through it. I kept trying to cut this apart. And when I went to glue it, I was like, ah, oh, just ripped it in half. See, there I'm struggling with it. I'm like, forget it, ripped it in half. I've still got to put uh, glue on that before we go. We're almost done here. Just about finished with this part of the build. All right. Getting the glue off my hands. Another acid brush, some more contact cement. Come out in future build videos, by the way, I've got um, all the electronics I'm putting in the servos um, and going from there. So again, nice light coat of glue or medium coat. You don't want to leave little pools. You see, as I kind of scrape that little pool off, you don't want to leave those. Um, contact cement is kind of weird. If there's too much, it uh, has a weak spot. If there's too little, uh, there's not enough. It's just about right. It would make it uh, perfect. So, apologies for rambling. It's uh, almost one o'clock in the morning. It's the only time I can edit my videos without my kids screaming in the background, and it's nice and quiet, and I get my thoughts together. All right. Even though it's got a large pool in the front, I'm going to have to stretch that out and get that big pool out of there. There you go. All right. Remember, let it become tacky before you put the parts together. I let it dry um, away from the camera. Uh, excuse me. I edited that part out. I didn't want you to have to look at that drawing like I did earlier. So.
All right. Notice they didn't have slots in them. Those are the upper winglet ones. You have one for each side. I'll put some glue on those, and I'm going to put them together. Just showing those don't have the grooves in them. That's what I'm trying to show you there. Oh, and there's little bumps on them. Uh, sand them off because if you leave those on, uh, they're just going to cause problems on the gluing surfaces. You could also put those facing out, but I thought later on I may sand those bumps off of the uh, wings, depending on if it uh, takes off the coloring of the wing or not. I don't like to see those uh, little waffle bumps that come from the form molds for the EPO. I'd rather get rid of those. So um, I may take some 200, 300 grit paper later on or 400 grit and try to sand off those bumps, just depending on if it affects the color of the uh, plane or not. That's what that extra piece of foam is going to come in handy for. Great for testing things. That piece that was left over from the winglets. All right. Just showing what I used there, which was the contact cement. go just make sure it's nice and tacky I'm gonna put the parts on here just a moment so you just touch your finger and if you feel that it's uh, sticky you're ready to go you'll see this I'm gonna go put this on and it just doesn't fit so I'm gonna rip this right rip it in half it's too flimsy to try it because you only get one try and uh, I don't want it to look all funny so I'm putting it on two different pieces just like I talked about earlier there's the top half, throwing the bottom half in there. There you go. Repeat on the other side and the two edges and you'll be fine. You notice it, see it if that would have been on the outside you'd seen that on the outside um, so the white is facing the inside is where the covers look so much better and we're done hey thanks for the other uh, and look for the other builds on this or the other parts of the build I hope you're enjoying it take care have a good day